this video, I'm going to show you how to catch a quarter, hopefully, on a wooden spoon. I'm also going to show you how to write your name magically on a butter knife. Also, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you who won a free magic trick. Ready? Let's go. All right, welcome back. Now, before we go any further, if you're new here on this channel, make sure you subscribe right now. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is raise your right hand and say, I will not tell these secrets to anyone. I will practice in a mirror before I show my friends. Perfect. You're in the group. How easy was that? All right, here we go. All right, what you want to do first off is get you a butter knife. I like to use the butter knife that's uh, thinner right here. You can get these at the dollar store, very easy to find. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the move. If I was to show you the knife on both sides, it would look just like this. One side with my name on it, one side with not. But here comes the move, watch really close. All I do is twist my fingers. I twist my fingers as the knife comes up, watch. That's all I'm doing is twisting my fingers. That way you're only seeing one side just like this. You see, I twist, I do it so fast you cannot even see it. So now when you are ready to make your name appear, uh, there's two different ways of doing it. I did it to where uh, I've just come up like this and produced my name like that. You have to make sure you do it like this. Don't do it uh, like that, it kind of ruins it. Um, so what you wanna do, you don't twist, okay? So you're usually twisting like this to show both sides now, when you're ready to produce your name, all you do is you just, you're going to come up like this, okay? And when I come up like that, that's when my hand comes up. Do it slow. And there you go. My name like that. You can do it that way, or this is easier. Um, if you show both sides, supposedly, all I'm going to do is shake. And as I shake, look, as I shake, I just give a little twist like that. Pretty simple, easy to do. And there you go. That is the butter knife trick. Now, not only can you do your name, uh, you can also, what I'm doing is I'm actually writing this with an Expo marker, okay? That way you don't ruin your knives at home. All right, perfect. Um, what also you can do, um, you can also write, let's say, a two of clubs. So in uh, one of my previous videos, I show you how to force a card, and by forcing it, you're gonna make them pick the two of clubs or any other card that you want, okay? So I write that on that side so you can see it, all right? So you go ahead and um, do the card trick, have this laying on the table. You have them uh, pick the two of clubs and you say, watch, you just shake it. And then look, there's their card right there, the two of clubs. Then it looks like you can wipe it off if you want to and watch. Now it's gone. Now I can make it come back just like that. All I did there is when I came up to act like I was gonna wipe it off like this, I just give it a little twist like that, but it's still really there, you see? So work with this, this is really cool. Uh, let me show you the spoon now. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, the spoon's a little bit harder. The reason being is, see how thick it is right here? Unlike the butter knife, how it's really thin. You see, what's thinner? So it's harder for you to actually turn it like this, okay? So I've been down here practicing for days, just joking. But it is a little bit harder, okay? These also you can buy at the dollar store too. I love the dollar store. Now what I did is I just um, took a piece of double-sided tape and take me a quarter there, have the other quarter here. Now you come out, you just show both sides like this. Don't say, look at this side, look at this side. Look at this side, 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 look at this side. Get really boring, okay? So all you do, you just come out and you show both sides like this, all right? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you gotta do a few steps on this one. I'm gonna flip this coin in the air. As it's in the air, I'm gonna turn the spoon like this and then I hopefully catch it in my right hand like this, okay? So let's try it. A lot of stuff. It's almost like juggling. I can't even juggle. But here we go. Watch. So show both sides. Here we go. Now get ready. I get ready in my head. I count the three in my head. One, two, three. Flip. Oh, and I caught it. Look. Now, the quarter went right there, just like it was supposed to. The other quarter's right there. So there you go. You act like you balanced it. You're balancing it there. That way, don't go like that and mess it up. But here's a way to actually clean yourself up. I have this quarter in the hand. So all I'm gonna do is turn it over like this, and look, there you go. That, with the quarter on there, can go down, 
south, put that in your pocket, and you are ready to go. So then you can go into a coin trick. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it, if you just did a coin trick and, oh, geez, where'd that go? Okay, but really cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Now it is time for the winner of the nickels to dime. And here you are right here. Yes, all right. All you have to do, send me your email address and I will get in touch with you as soon as possible. So there you go. Two very easy, simple to do magic tricks with a butter knife and a spoon. How about a giveaway? All right, let's do a giveaway. All you have to do is um, just comment down below. Uh, I would like to have the spoon and I will actually autograph this and mail this out to you. Um, I'll announce the winner on the next video. All right, thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.